I'll have more later about Anthony Albanese's mistake. And uh, I'll say it's more than a mistake, of course. I think uh, that's a misnomer. It's actually been a revelation about his knowledge, his interests. He calls it a mistake. I want to show you this declaration that he's made a couple of times since that era. No, no I, I, I'm, I'm owning it. And, and I do own it. I accept responsibility. And that's what I will do. That's what I will do. If, uh, if a mistake is made then I'll own it. And uh, that, you know, people will draw their own contrast. Now, that's pretty clear, isn't it? And admirable. Own your mistake and, importantly, accept responsibility. Well, I want to challenge the opposition leader now to do just that. You'll all remember this exchange last week when Albanese refused to take a question from a voter. You've got a tough question. Are you up for it? No. I'm, I'm absolutely up for it. OK, good. And, so uh, and, sorry, we can't really do that. The protocol, the, the Media Alliance will be a bit upset if we... I don't think the media will mind at all. I've, I, so I've said, are you up for it? Are you up for it? I'm absolutely up okay, for it. OK, so yeah. my question is... Um, a few... Not to no, not, we're, not... We're, we're just taking questions from journalists. Well, he promised to speak to that voter afterwards, but didn't. And later, Albanese explained his refusal to deal with this man by making an unsubstantiated and nasty claim. It wasn't just some punter who rocked up at the press conference yesterday. There was a, a truck going around with a uh, billboard sort of attached to it that's been busy trying to whip up racist sentiment, basically. And that uh, fellow was associated with that. Well, it's hardly racist to talk about China and the Chinese Communist Party, whether you agree with the tough anti-Labor message or not. But the trouble is that Advance Australia issued a statement saying they have no connection to the would-be questioner at that press conference. And the questioner himself says the same. So has Anthony Albanese wrongly maligned a voter? And is that voter owed an apology? Well, the would-be questioner, Norm Bernard, joins me now live from Perth. Thanks for joining us, uh, Norm. I, I understand that you just turned up at that press conference because you heard about it on the radio. It was near your house and you heard the Premier and the opposition leader were going to be there and, and you decided to turn up and, uh, and put a question to Anthony Albanese. Can you tell us whether you have any connection, past, present or future, with Advance Australia? I have no connection with Advance Australia. I, I didn't know the truck. I didn't know the truck driver. Just no, zero connection. Um, and, yeah, I, I just heard it on the radio and thought it's really close to my home and I'd just take the opportunity to go down there and listen and a question occurred to me for him and also one for McGowan and I took the opportunity when the journos had finished talking to try and put my question forward. Well, Anthony Albanese said during that exchange that he'd have a chat to you afterwards. Uh, what happened? Uh, did, did you disappear or did you make any attempt to follow up? Um, no. Both uh, Mr Albanese and Premier McGowan said they would. Neither of them made any attempt. Um, they both took off in the opposite direction. All right, so uh, Mr Albanese was absolutely wrong to say that you're involved with Advance Australia and Advance Australia have confirmed that as well. What about the injection of the fact that uh, it was a racist campaign by Advance Australia? That was associating you with racism. Did that compound the slur from the opposition leader? It was deeply offensive to me, um, just deeply offensive and... Subsequently, uh, I found it really disturbing that a man that um, presents himself as a leader for Australia, when something even slightly tough comes up, just makes up a story and throws the people under the bus. So I just well, don't want that. I think that's not appropriate for a leader. We need a man of principle and strength. Do you have any other political connections? No, not connected with... With any political party, I, you know, I, I'm happy to say that I've, I've voted probably as many times Labor as I've voted Liberal. Uh, um, I try and just pick the best person. I, I tend to look at the person. OK, so would you like and expect an apology from Anthony Albanese, given he says you should own up to and take responsibility for your errors? 
I think a principled man would apologise for, for what he said. It was clearly just wrong. And um, I think it, a, a leader would accept and, and answer the question unscripted. All right. Well, I, know, I understand you don't want to give away your question because you don't want a prepared answer from Anthony Albanese. But if we could get him on the show, would you come on and, uh, and, and, and give him the question and, and at least give us a heads up beforehand so I don't want to put some wild, yeah. crazy or defamatory question to him? Would you do that? Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that, Chris. All right. Thanks for joining us, Norm. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chris, for the opportunity. Norm Bernard there, as you can see, uh, he says that he had nothing to do with Advance Australia. It looks like Anthony Albanese has maligned him and associated him with a racist slur. He still wants to ask his question. I think he's owed an apology by Anthony Albanese, but we'd love to have the opposition leader on the show and allow Norm to put that question. He has said that he'll tell us just beforehand, so I tell you, if it's an offensive or crazy or wild accusation that shouldn't go live to where, I'll make sure it doesn't happen. But at the moment, I don't know what his question is. I'll show you a couple of questions I do have for Anthony Albanese, though. I've been showing some of these questions we've prepared throughout the campaign. And if we could get the opposition leader on, I would like to ask him these two key questions, uh, which apparently we're not getting up on screen now. But one of them, of course, was why he now opposes some of the new taxes he's previously backed, like the carbon tax, the mining tax, death duties and the like. And I've also wanted to ask him about how his climate policies, whether or not they're actually going to produce any discernible change in the weather or the climate. I would add a couple of questions to that now, of course, given the, the gaffes yesterday, but I'd really, really like to see Anthony Albanese answer the question from Norm. We shall see.